So without even starting the TBR game, this is the books that I would like to finish, get started. Hello my loves and thank you for joining me. It's Kirsten and it's time for September's TBR game. Now the TBR game itself is very simple. We roll a six coloured sided dice a minimum of five times. Now normally at this point I would say if the same colour comes up twice we're gonna do a re-roll and we do that twice so it have anywhere between five and seven books to read for the month. I'm not gonna do that this month because I've got some chunky books on my TBR that I already want to read so I think I'm just gonna do five. We're gonna do five rolls and we're just gonna leave it at that. Now the colours correlate to a little ghost that sits on top of a stack of prompts. Well, not a stack of prompts, it sits on top of a prompt and then obviously we swap out the prompts once it's chosen for a new prompt. Nice and simple, really easy game. Let's choose a prompt and then we'll talk through the books that I would like to read for this month and we'll see if we can fit them on. If we manage to do good, then I might do the re-roll thing, maybe do an extra roll at the end, but we're, we're gonna see and you'll see why in a minute. But let's choose another prompt. And then a bit of a shuffle up, go this one. A to Z pick, a chaos pick. Let's hope that one doesn't come up because as I've said, we already have quite a few chunky books that I need to read. One that I'm currently in the middle of is The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. This is a buddy read over on my Discord and we're doing this for two months. It works out that we've got to read two chapters a week. But the chapters are between 80 to 100 pages long, so it's actually quite a lot of pages to read each week. As I'm filming this, I, it's still... what week are we on? Middle of August-ish? Towards the end of August-ish? Anyway, point is, I've read the first four chapters, but yeah, this has got to carry on, so I'm going to be reading half of this book in September as well. So that's one book already that if I can get onto a prompt would be really helpful, if not I'm reading it regardless. This is a really good book, it's historical fiction but with darker atmosphere and it's all surrounding this cathedral that's going on, we're seeing different politics from religion to non-religion and just typical personal greed and gain. Also this kind of curse that we done at the start of this book and how it's affecting people and I really like it. I think the writing is gorgeous. It is so well written and I don't know, I think it's just beautiful. It is very dark though, it deals with a lot of darker topics but I'm enjoying it a lot. Then the buddy read for the month in September is The Race of Kings. So over on my Discord we do a monthly book club and this is the one that won for September. I'm very excited. This is by Ken Liu. This is a book I picked up because of Abby. I will have her channel linked below. She really loves this series. I have been warned that the first book is a bit slower. It's kind of seen as a bit of a prequel but it really steps up with the second book. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one and starting this series. It's one that I've had on my TBR for a little while now so I was very pleased when this one won. I need to read that one in September. September as well. And then two I would just like to read. One is Swan Folk and this is by Kristin Ormestotter. This is translated from Icelandic by Vala Thorids and this is a book I would like to take on holiday with me. I am going to Iceland in September and so this would be a really nice book to take with me. It's weird and that's all I really know about it but that's all I want to know. So yeah very excited so I really want to fit this one on the TBR. If not again this is one that I'm going to be reading regardless because I am taking this on holiday but it is a shorter one so I'm not as worried about it. And then the other book that I don't know why I'm doing this to myself but I would really like to read is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Now I don't plan on reading this whole thing in one month. I do plan on splitting this over two months but I would really like to do it. I just I am intimidated by this book like so much but I have heard nothing but good things and um, this is like 1200 pages long so yeah, it's a big, big chunky book. It's a classic and I don't really know what's actually about apart from the fact that it's about war and peace and it's Leo Tolstoy so I'm probably there's going to be a lot of social commentary and looks at life and the little mundanities of life. I'm really intrigued. I've heard so many good things about this so I really want to read it. Is it the right month to be starting it when I've got so many other big books? I'm not sure but because of how I've planned my videos I would really like to have a video dedicated to reading this book and annotating it and everything and I would like that ideally for November. Hence why I want to start in September so I've got September, October and even the beginning of November if I need it. So without even starting the TBR game this is the books that I would like to finish, get started, etc. The top three are ones that are going to be read regardless. I would really like to start War and Peace. Hence why we're probably only doing five rolls today but let's see what this game's gonna be like, is it gonna be nice to me, can I fit those on or are we just gonna get some chaos thrown in the mixture? I guess we're gonna find out. Roll number one. Yellow. Oh that's perfect. Read the first in a series. 
that could not have gone better. Read the first in a series. Um, perfect for getting the Discord Buddy Club. Buddy Club? Why do I see keep saying that? The Discord Book Club pick on there. The Grace of Kings is the first in a series. Now let's read the back of this. So it says, Emperor Mapadir was the first to unite the island kingdoms of Dara under a single banner. But now the Emperor is on his deathbed, his people are exhausted by his fast, conscriptive engineering projects, and his counsellors conspire only for their own gain. Even the gods themselves are restless. A wily, charismatic bandon and the vengeance-sworn son of a deposed duke cross paths as they each lead their own rebellion against the Emperor's brutal regime. Together they will journey to the heart of the Empire, witness the clash of armies, fleets of silk-draped airships, magical books and shape-shifting gods. Their unlikely friendship will drastically change the balance of power in Dara. But at what price? I'm so excited for this. So one, I think this is like a steampunk-esque book, which it makes me really excited because I've been really enjoying steampunk fantasy. I say I'm enjoying steampunk fantasy. I've only read like one which is Engines of Empire. I mean, it sounds really good. It sounds really good. And the covers are all beautiful, which I know we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but how can you not when it's this gorgeous? So that was an amazing first roll. I am so pleased with that. That was perfect. That was exactly what we needed. I don't trust it to last, but it was a really good start. Let's choose a number prompt. Let's go, let's go here. Ugh. Recent purchase. I have recently done a whole book shopping day, which will be the video after this one, where I bought 11 books in one day. So we have quite a few options for this, which is really good. So we'll see if that comes up, but let's get on to roll number two. The second roll. Purple. Over 500 pages. Another decent choice. I'm not sure what's going on. But the second prompt, over 500 pages, is also really good because as we know we have two chunky books that I would like to read in September. So both of them will only be like half the book. We have Pillars of the Earth, which I think by the time I'm up to where I should be, I might just have 500 pages left. This is 1,083 pages long, so I'm thinking I should have that. Let me check. Okay, so yes, definitely, I think, because by the time I've read the next two chapters of this, yeah, so I've got two more chapters to read by the end of the month, which will only take me up to page 425. I will have over 500 pages to read of this book, so I think we'll put Pillars of the Earth for this one, just in case I decide to delay War and Peace for whatever reason, because I think trying to do both of these books in September might be a bit much. So I think maybe I might put War and Peace on hold until I finish Pillars of the Earth. We'll see, because I have a lot of video plans and stuff going on at the minute, so I might put this one on hold. It could change, but I might try and yeah, so let's, let's focus on this one first. So we'll do Pillars of the Earth. I'll read you the synopsis because I don't do the best job of explaining this book. It says here, Pillars of the Earth tells the story of Philip, who is a monk that we first meet, who becomes a prior. He is a devout and resourceful monk driven to build the greatest Gothic cathedral the world has known. Then we have Tom. Tom is the mason who becomes his architect. I really like Tom's perspective. He is a man divided in his soul. The beautiful, elusive Lady Alina, haunted by a secret shame that is kind of like at the start of this book. In like the prologue, we don't know all the ins and outs, but we know little tidbits. And then a struggle between good and evil that will turn church against state and brother against brother. It's really good. I really enjoy it. So yeah, so that's actually going to be for over 500 pages, because I will have over 500 pages left to read in September. Choose another prompt. This one. So a book with foil on the cover. Nice and easy. Let's go. Roll number three. Pink. Non-fiction. So this is all my non-fiction books from the Charlotte Bronte book to the end. I've actually read these three. So Being Lolita, The Geisha of Gion, and A Life on Our Planet. M Mary's Monster Possibility, but I kind of want to save that for October. Zelda I've read, and those three don't have I feel like tackling yet. So maybe, maybe this one. This is a small little book. I don't know if a non-fiction technically, but it's kind of where I put it. Okay, let's go for this. Okay, so for non-fiction, I'm gonna go with Vampires, The Occultist Truth, and this is by Kostintantos, Kostintantos. He's been practicing occultist for 
15 years, over 15 years, and he's done a lot of different books. This was a book I picked up in Edinburgh. This is kind of like what are vampires in the modern day. We have never before published case histories of recent contacts with vampires, their victims, including those accounted in the flesh by the author himself. We've got letters from modern vampires that tell you of their hidden lives. I think it's just going to be a really interesting book. I'm not expecting to get loads out of this and like I say I don't know whether non-fiction is the right part for this book. It's definitely one that I'm interested in looking at and seeing the different viewpoints on what a vampire is in the modern day. So yeah I I'm interested in giving it a try. This will be a good one but I don't know whether it technically counts. It's kind of like it says here like folklore stuff so I'm not sure if technically this should be non-fiction but it's what we're going with because it's kind of where I put it because I don't know where to categorize this book so that's that one. So far pretty decent I'm pretty happy with it but in the meantime let's choose another prompt. A classic we do like classics around here let's go roll number four. The fourth roll green okay that is a green and that's an a to z pick that's not what we wanted Let's do this. So roll number four was Chaos and that's A to Z pick and for this one we're going to get a A to Z letter generator on my phone and I think I'm going to do this twice and then we'll use those letters. They can either be the title or it could be the author's starting first or last name and we'll do two and that way you can choose between the two books that get chosen as to what one I read. Okay so it's starting off with letter C. Let's do the random generator W. Okay, so that can either be the title or an author's surname. So W is one and B. Okay, W and B. Let's go have a look at those shelves. I'm actually kind of feeling like some darker books. So, oh, let me move those. This is my darker fantasy book shelf. So let's have a look if there's anything that is W or B. So we do have What Moves the Dead, but I have plans for that book. So I don't think we're going to do that one. These ones I've read. Oh, The Wolf and the Woodsman. That's one I've been wanting to read for a while. So that works for W. Okay, nothing really here with a B. That's either like in the title or thing. So no. Let's have a look up here then. Hmm. Uh, a bit of double stacking going on please excuse i don't know if i feel no i'm not really feeling those the only one here could possibly be the stolen air for b not really a dark book but one that i have been thinking about reading what else have we got i mean i suppose i could do a marie brennan book but also maybe not i have a little pile of books here which i need to put away these are all new books that i got so i could see if there's any bees in that uh nope none of those nope but i would like to read this one soon okay so none of those so looking at some of the dark academia these i really want to read soon as well uh for b we could do livy blake the atlas six or the promise boys this has two b's we have promise boys and it's by nick brooks so could do that I feel like if it was out of the two i do keep putting off atlas six and i'm kind of happy to keep doing that you're gonna have to let me know if it's worth reading but the Promise Boys could be a good one. Uh, I think the only other B really would be The Bleeding, which is a newer book that I got as well. Uh, so it could be out of those two. Do we do those two or the Holly Black book? Okay, give me a minute and I'll come back to you with the options. Okay, so for A to Z pick, as you know, we did it twice and we got a W and a B. So you need to choose which books between the two that I'm about to choose, what one I should read for the month. The one with the most votes will be the one I read for the month. So for W, we went with The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. This is a darker fantasy fairy tale inspired book. I really like Ava Reed's writing. I've only read one of her books, which was Juniper and Thorn, and I loved it. So I have really high hopes for this one. This one is in her forest veiled pagan village, Evik is the only woman without power. So when the soldiers from Holy Order of Woodsmen arrive to claim a girl for their king's blood sacrifice, she is betrayed and surrendered. But when they are attacked en route to the capital and everyone but Avik and a lone woodsman are slaughtered, they have no choice but to rely on one another. Except he is no ordinary woodsman. He is the disgraced prince Gaspar Barony, whose father needs pagan magic to consolidate his power. As they travel through the bitter northern tundra onto, 
to the smoke-choked capital, they form a tenuous pact that slowly turns their loathing to affection. But trust is easily betrayed, and as Vik discovers her own hidden magic, she and Gaspar must decide where their loyalties really lie. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a little while. And then for B, I decided to go with Holly Black, The Stolen Heir. This is her new release, and one that I am looking forward to. I actually binge read the whole Folk of the Air trilogy. Earlier this year, I ended up falling in love with it, and this is one that I think is set 10 years later or something and we are following Jude's brother. He is one of the main characters in here and we have another character that we also met during the Folk of the Air trilogy and we're following her story. I have heard some mixed things about this one but I think it's going to be quite a nice light palette cleanser read which is how I found the Folk of the Air trilogy. So yeah I think it's going to be one of these two books so please let me know which one you think I should read for the month of September. I am excited for both, I think they're both going to be really good. I've been thinking about reading both of them a lot lately so just let me know one that you would like me to read? Let me know in the comments below and that will be one of the books I read for the month. Okay, let's choose another prompt. Weirdly, I think, have we managed to do four without a reroll anyway? I think so. That would be really weird if we somehow managed that on a month where I was considering no rerolls. Choose a prompt. Highest rated on my TBR. Let's go. The fifth roll. Orange fantasy or sci-fi. So the last pick for this month is fantasy or sci-fi and for this I've actually decided to go with a reread which is The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. This is a fantasy series that I started last year and I loved this first book and now I have the third and final book and I've said that I really want to finish this whole series this year. I want to finish it at the end of the year so I think I'm gonna go with this one do a reread I find rereads as much as this is a bigger book rereads are quite easy for me to read because I already know the characters I already know the story and so it's just it just works for me which means that I have managed to fit in half the books that I wanted to fit in for the TBR which is great but I have also remembered another book that I want to read in September not sure if I will be reading it in September but it does get released halfway through September and that is the new Richard Osman book which is the fourth installment of the Thursday Murder Club series and this is a series that I have been absolutely loving and I do think I'm going to be buddy reading the fourth book with Christina so I'll have to message her and find out when she wants to do that buddy read so that may also happen in September it may not but let's go through all of the books that we are reading this month so for fantasy or sci-fi we have The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick for non-fiction we have The Vampires The Occult Truth it's going to be an interesting read it's also very short so I can't imagine this taking very long. Then for a book over 500 pages we will be finishing the buddy read of The Pillars of Earth and for starting a new fantasy book we have the other buddy read that's happening on Discord which is The Grace of Kings. If you want to join in on any of these please feel free to do so my Discord will be linked below. On top of this we have Swan Folk which I will be taking away with me to Iceland. I'm very excited about this it's going to be a very unusual weird fiction book. I think it's going to be an amazing read. Potentially also starting War and Peace. I think I would like to even if it's just like 100 or 200 pages of this book to get read. This is a bit bit too ambitious but I think I would like to at least start it. And then of course the two books for you to choose between for the month which is The Stolen Heir by Holly Black or The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. Is the month's reading. It's quite big that like there's not loads of books but it's chunky books so we're gonna see how much I actually get read but I'm really pleased with how the game turned out and how I managed to get at least a couple of the books that I really wanted to read onto this TBR game which was perfect. But there we have it, that's all the books that I'm going to be reading in the month of September. Let me know what you're going to be reading if you've read any of these and don't forget to vote between the two books for you to choose from for the month and I'm going to leave it there. So thank you so much for watching, I think if we made it this far then let's put a swan, any type of bird emoji in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video please do give it that thumbs up, subscribe and comment, those three things really help this channel grow so thank you so much. All my social media links and anyone I've mentioned will be linked below and I will of course catch you in the next video.